Welcome to my channel. My name is Tanya. If you're new here, so today I have a very exciting video. I've been looking forward to this release for a while now. So you guys know I love the foundation, and now Pat came out with a concealer and setting powder. So we are going to do a wear test. I also did the a different setting powder on one side of my face so that we can see if this really does a good job blurring. You know, if it stands up to my Charlotte Tilbury because that's like my tried and true. Okay, so. We're gonna do all this good stuff, see if it's worth the money. I had a lot of confidence, obviously, because I, I bought the full size, and usually I'm just like, I will do a sample first. Um, so, let's see if it's worth it. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. I do upload here at least three to four times a week, and I would love your support. So, let's go ahead and jump into the demo portion. All right, we will talk about details, but I'm like, I just need to get this on so I can start this wear test because it's already two o'clock. And I want to do at least a, a while, you know, like I feel like six hours is like the true test for a concealer. I feel like that's the point where it's like, it's going to go well, or it's the point where you're like, no, not a long wearing one. Um, I had to update you guys on like the beauty blender one because I was just like, we're well, but once it reached that like pass point of six hours, like my wrinkles were definitely defined. <laughs> um, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute because it matches like the foundation. I always love her packaging, um, but I, I just, I, I like that it, it sits well together, you know? Well, kind of, because once you like take this out, I'm just like, oh, she's gonna be a clear little square. Like I use these as like little decorations. They make me happy, okay? All right, so you get five milliliters, so that is not a lot of product, so we'll definitely put up some comparisons between other concealers. Um, but you know, I feel like we're in that era where it's like either you get a jumbo one or a tiny one. Uh, and this is, this is quite small. So like I have, you guys can tell like here's the e.l.f. compared to it. Like this bottle is just a lot bigger. I don't know if you guys can really see that on screen. And then the shape tape right here. So you get, uh, you know, the little glass. They got us with this little glass thing at the bottom. Like I'm just like, couldn't that just be filled with product, you know? Just me. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into this. So. I don't smell anything. I don't know why I felt the need to do that. Um, I do have the Pat McGrath foundation on right now. So I have the shade 16 on. And then the shade I'm using is light medium eight. I'm gonna do a swatch on the back of my arm. I did do in-store swatches, so I'm gonna put up um, those in a little bit. So there is a swatch of the shade. I will leave it on there for a few minutes just to see, but I don't think it uh, oxidizes. I was in the store uh, and I was swatching quite a few of them and they didn't seem to oxidize, which is good. Let's just go right here. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. Let's just see, I say that, but like look how much I put on. Um, but this is pretty typical of what I usually do. I don't want to go like crazy concealer and do this whole thing, especially with this type of foundation. I just, uh, I will say though, this is definitely pigmented, like very concentrated. Like when I was swatching them, I was like, there's a, there's a good amount of pigment in these for sure. Ugh, but does anyone else, I just get so frustrated with her because I act like I know her. I'm like, like I know her. Um, but I get irritated that like, you know, she has all these pictures using this foundation system and like using this concealer system, but it never said like which powder shade she was using or like what concealer shade she was using. So I feel like I would have had a really hard time. I mean, I did go in saying like, I'll probably be shade eight or 11. Um, but it's a little harder, I think, to pick your shade. I totally got that on my eyelid. <laughs> and the undertones are very, very strong in this concealer for sure. Like the, you know, she had like light peach, you know, peach undertones, golden undertones, neutral undertones, and they're, they're strong undertones for sure. So it's a little hard to choose. And the same thing, I got the powder, which we'll go over in a second. So, see what I mean? I'm like, I just put a little on my chin and I'm just like, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> It's a lot more brightening, so that's why I was like, I'll just roll whatever is left over on the top, that way it's not like too extreme. But I feel like even just looking at it right now, it looks very yellowy, you know, and I'm just like, 
Looks good blended out though. So, whoo. I will say price wise though, I mean, it's not bad. It's not like you get a whole lot of product, but like we know the price of the foundation. So it, I'm just saying it could have been worse. I am proud of myself though. I have not gotten the Hourglass Concealer, even though that's one I really, really want. I'm like, you will get it on sale. You will not pay full price. So I don't contour my nose, which is why I end up putting concealer kind of on the sides. I'm right, gonna turn it down just a little bit. I will do check-ins in the salette. Um, but I feel like this was actually a really good shade. It's still brightening, but it's not overly brightening. I don't feel like I need to go back in. Sometimes I'll go in with a lighter concealer and just do a few dots. I do use my Becca Under Eye Primer. Never when I'm doing these videos, but the rest of the time, you know, you gotta keep up with the day. And I wake up with black eyes. So, it did a really good job of covering that area. I can still see a little bit of darkness in the inner corner, which is why I usually use that, but it's definitely not awful. I still feel like it, it covered my discoloration, but I, I would still probably use that in the future. I just feel like I, it, it could be better, <laughs> but I'm liking the coverage. It's definitely a nice coverage. It's not as sheer as the foundation. So I just try to try to press it through my wrinkles. All right, and then we have the powder. I'm really hoping the powder isn't broken. Usually I check things in store, but it's not like you could really like check this. And to be honest, like I, I was there for forever because they didn't actually have these on display. So, you know, I was just kind of like, let's go with it. The shade number one is definitely like a white powder. It would be good for brightening. Um, but I felt like when I go through my collection, my Charlotte Tilbury is like one of my favorites, my Jouer, they're all pretty lightning. So lightning, they're, they're definitely there for brightening. So I was kind of like, you know, I'm going to try the shade two because it still looked like it would brighten, but also that I could set areas of my face with it. I'm trying to get away from like just having an under eye powder of this powder of that powder. Like I don't even like powder that much. Um, except for under my eyes, but that's why, like, I was just kind of like, if I could use it and I hate these things, I, I love Pat. I understand the presentation, but my gosh, like every single time I knock one of these things over and have all of these little sequins everywhere, it, I cannot even explain. My husband's knocked over one of the ones and it had all like a way more sequins than this one but i just I, I don't i don't prefer it like it's just it's just a mess um <laughs> side note just in case you were wondering my thoughts on these okay she's intact we're good so this is the medium two shade that came in three um <laughs> you get a mirror this <laughs> i don't know what you can see in that mirror but it's i guess it's nice it has it but it's all uh, yeah uh, all right, so let's go ahead. I will swatch it for you guys. Obviously, if it's like, I don't want it to darken my concealer. That's my only worry. So I'm hoping it does not, but very, very sheer. So I could have definitely gone with the lighter one, but it just freaked me out that it was like white, white. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a little brightening. Not much, but a little. All right, we're gonna take my favorite brush of almost, like this is one of my top, brushes of all time. This is the Wayne Goss brush and it doesn't say which one it is, but I know it's the one out of Squirrel. Uh, but I think it's like the airbrush one. Let's go ahead. I'm going to try <laughs> to use this mirror. If anything, this mirror just makes it so that you're depressed of like you, cause you can see just like my one wrinkle. All right. So we're just going to do one side. That way we can see if it makes a difference. I will say, I think you do have to set this though. Like, I don't think this concealer is one where like, I don't always feel like I have to set my concealer. I don't crease horribly, but it's not, I don't know. I can just tell it's one of those formulas where you're probably gonna have a hard time if you didn't do it. All right, let me look in a bigger mirror. Do you guys see a difference between this side and this side? I wanna get nice and close so you guys can like actually see everything. So this is the powder side, this is the non-powder side. This is what the concealer is looking like up close and personal. Um, hmm. I will say this side does, I think it looks 
better. I mean, obviously any side that's gonna be set is gonna look smoother, but it it does look blurred. Woo! This is good sign, yeah? But yeah, I would say this side does look more blurred than this side for sure. But you guys can see like, no concealer is gonna cover your wrinkles. I just don't want it to set that way. All right, I decided let's make this more interesting. Uh, just because I feel like setting powders are one of those things where, especially like the blurring ones, it's really hard to tell if some are like way more superior than the other. I will say my favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush Flawless Finish. I turn into Sean Connery whenever I can't pronounce something. Uh, this is the shade two though. It's the only product I think I've like really hit pan on where I'm just like, I will buy this again. Um, so let's... I'm gonna go in my Morphe brushes, okay? And they do the job. But it's not the experience I have with the Wayne Goss brush, but I just don't wanna get any extra. So, this is obviously a brighter shade, but I just wanna see if it looks more blurred than the other side. Oh, we're supposed to go top golf tonight, and I'm just like, <laughs> I have a job where I talk to people. I had a lot of new people this week which is great for business, but I'm exhausted of meeting people. And he's like, oh, this person's bringing their new so-and-so. And I'm just like, no, no, I don't, you know, cause it's just in my nature to try to be nice and inviting when someone feels out of place cause they don't know anyone. And I'm just like, I'm tired. I don't want to talk. Not to mention golfing isn't really my strong suit. I like top golf, but this little pretty dimple here is from a golf club. So, all right. I'm gonna kinda wait till this sets when I do check-ins to see what I think, but what do you guys think in terms of the blurring between both sides? So I'm gonna turn it up and then I'm gonna tone it down and see if you guys can notice a difference. Personally, I'm actually like surprised. I don't feel like even though the powder is definitely brighter in the compact, it's not, I don't feel like this eye is much brighter than this eye, which is great because that's what I wanted. So I'm actually gonna do my bronzer and I'm gonna use that setting powder to kinda just clean it up and see if we can use it in multiple ways. All right, last thing I'm going to do with this powder is see if it will work. I mean, it's not like it's meant for this, but sometimes I'll just kinda add a little bit here like where my bronzer, I was kind of messy with it. And too, I got the, I got a monster sitting in the middle. I started retinol. Um, and my skin is, uh, you know, she's not happy with me, but I keep telling myself we're gonna work together. You know, like my skin is not against me, we're together. But I feel like that actually worked just fine. I'm gonna actually do the same thing on this side since it's not like I, I'm not a fan of like doing this with an entire like, powder. I don't like that harsh line. Some people do. It's not generally my look. I think if I had fuller cheeks, but yeah, just personally, that's just not what I do. Yeah, I got this one like dry patch right here. Okay. Besides the point, I will check in in a few hours and we will see what happens. I act like some is going to be something super scary. <laughs> okay, very weird, but I just looked at the Sephora website. Um, I'm in the little app and this one says, it says five on the box is for in terms of like what you get, five ml. But the Sephora site says 4.7, which is worse. So I'm just like, which, which is it? Weird, right? Uh, I don't think that's, I don't know that. I'm hoping it's just a ty typo, okay? Cause I, I want the five, I want the five. I want more than five, but I'll take the five. <laughs> Um, in terms of the concealer, it says it is a creamy, lightweight, full coverage concealer with a natural radiant matte finish that brightens the under eye and hides the appearance of blemishes. Full coverage, natural finish. Um, I will say it's definitely not a hydrating formula. So if you are someone who needs hydration, I think you'll be fine as long as you put like, you know, as long as you, I always put lotion underneath my eyes and moisturize my under eyes, but it's definitely not going to be a hydrating concealer. So just keep that in mind if you are on the very, very dry side. This may not be great for you, um, but I wouldn't say it's overly drying. Obviously we'll see more the more I wear it, but it doesn't feel dry on my under eyes. 
But like I said, I don't usually have that issue. All right, so I'm gonna pop up the shades right here between shade number one and shade number seven. I was happy because in the promo picture, like, you know, they, oh, I've already talked about like Pat McGrath filters, but especially like the, the still that they took of all the arm swatches, I was like, they all look a lot deeper than I expected. In person, it's not like that at all. So just be aware that there's, there is, if you were worried about that, there's probably a shade for you if you're on the lighter side. So yeah, I mean, it does say the Vitam Serum Complex is supposed to be there to moisturize. Like I said, I don't think it's a dry concealer by any means, but it's not the most hydrating one that I've ever tried either. So just be aware of that. And it says it's supposed to have a silky feel. I don't know about this whole silky feel thing. I mean, really, I don't feel like any, the powder feels very silky. It's very nice, but um, it is free of parabens. And then it says all day wear. It doesn't give you an actual timeline, but it says all day wear test. So we shall see. Okay. So let's go over the powders. You get 4.1 ml in the powder. And then the, the very weird, cause then this says four grams. So, uh, I mean, four and 4.1 doesn't bother me as much as the concealer. That one bothers me, but this one, not as much. $30, the Charlotte Tilbury, you get plenty more like the Charlotte Tilbury. It says no, that's the expiration. You get eight grams. So twice as much in the Charlotte Tilbury, just so that you're aware. Um, but it says it's a brilliantly blendable, ultra weightless under eye setting powder that brightens and blurs for luminous soft focus effects. Finish is natural, coverage is light. So far, I agree with all of those things. So we will just see how it wears. So if you're looking at like comparison prices for the concealer, I mean, Hourglass's new one is 34, but you're getting six. This is $32 and the powder is 30. It's around the range, but it's still a little bit less than what you normally get. Like even NARS is six, six. So you're gonna go through this fairly fast. So just be aware of that. Like I definitely like would be so upset if someone was just like, let's cover all this and let's get five shades. I'm like, oh no, you cannot afford that. I mean, maybe you can, but I can't. Um, but yeah, so far I'm liking the way it's sitting, even though it's a full coverage concealer and the foundation isn't full coverage, I don't feel like it It doesn't go well. I feel like my skin, I like the way it looks up to this point. So I will see you guys in the next chicken. All right, so much for sunlight. Um, I got super distracted working and oh, I still have so much to do. It's 6.08 though right now. So we're looking at four hours. And the eyes still look very nice. Obviously the bags are always, it's just always gonna be there. Um, but I feel like they're still pretty even, like in terms of smoothness. Like obviously you can see my crinkles, but they're not going to change. Um, but right now it's still sitting really, really well. So I'll check in with you guys in another few hours when I have actual, you know, lighting. But I wanted to at least show it natural light so you guys can see. But yeah, from here, it's like everything's better from far away. Okay, um, but yeah, from here especially, like I'm just like, okay, it looks, it looks good. I can't see anything breaking yet. Don't I look gorgeous? <laughs> um, I was like, I'm not changing for check-ins, okay? Uh, it is 8.02. So we are at the six hour mark. I am going to leave it on for a little bit longer. Um, I try to draw these out as long as possible, but it's my Friday night and I'm just like, I need some relaxation. I don't know about you guys, but to me, a full face of makeup, it's like ripping a bra off when you get home where you're just like, I'm ready to unveil you. Not excited about what I see once I take it off, but still. <laughs> All right, this is what we're looking like. So, nice and close up. What are you guys thinking? Are any of the powders sitting better on each side? Do you feel like it's pretty even keeled? Because right now I feel like it's pretty even like I wouldn't say one side looks better than the other they're pretty much like holding up just fine so light and turn down because I forgot earlier I wanted to show you guys swatches I always think there's something on my hand but it's just a scar so this is the Charlotte Tilbury powder it's definitely more of a banana type shade whereas the Pat McGrath is more neutral like it's this is definitely like a yellowy um on the yellow side but overall like I feel like the Pat McGrath is a little bit sheer 
compared to the Charlotte Tilbury, but both very blurring. So even though I would expect more coverage from the Charlotte Tilbury because it doesn't seem as sheer, I still feel like it, it looks the same both ways around as of this point. So, I mean, I, I, I'm kind of, because I don't use the Charlotte Tilbury all over my face, I feel like the Pat McGrath one I can use everywhere regardless of it's being, I'm not paying $30 just for an under eye. Like you're gonna set the rest of my face. So, like I said, I will check in again and then we shall do final thoughts. I was about to open this thing for the mirror and I was like, don't do that. And definitely don't drop it because it's a very, very fragile powder. I will say though, between the two, for once I kinda, I kinda, not really. Charlotte Tilbury, I love the packaging. Um, but I like the packaging on the powder compact. This just definitely feels more luxe than this. This is very lightweight, almost to the point where I'm like, you're gonna drop it eventually. <laughs> um, but I like, I like the Charlotte Tilbury compact better. I like that it has a mirror that I can actually see in. So in terms of that, Charlotte Tilbury wins. But I feel like the Pat McGrath also feels like, not like this feels heavy, but this is such a fine, lightweight powder. I don't feel it at all. Whereas like Charlotte Tilbury, maybe it gives me a touch more coverage, but like I said, I don't think so. Um, but lightweightness wise, like, like I said, this doesn't feel heavy, but it's heavier than this. This is very, very fine and silky smooth. I have made it. It is 10.06. I always feel the need to like show you because I'm just like, what if they don't trust me? Like. I, I feel like people lie on <laughs> war tests, so I'm like, proof that it's here. Not everyone, but I'm just saying. Like, I always wonder, because I'm just like, they, they can, you know, it's a lot of chickens. It's a lot of like, I'm like, don't touch your face. Don't ruin it. When all I want to do is take my makeup off right now. So, I actually really like the way my eye look turns out. My, I just love the Pat McGrath, like the longer it sits on my skin. I just feel like healthy glow in a good way, so... Anyways, all right, this is what we are working with. So I don't think it looks any worse from before, to be completely honest. Um, I'm not seeing anything break apart. It's definitely better than the Beauty Blender concealer. Like, like I said in the comment section, like six hours for that one is like kind of max before it like really emphasizes your fine lines, but this is not. It looks pretty much the same as it has since I put it on. And like I said, I don't feel like there's a difference between the sides with the powders. Again, this is the Pat McGrath and this is the Charlotte Tilbury. What do you guys think? I'm very interested. All right, so overall, I would say like, let me just take a picture real quick. I wanna see if there's any flashback, um, just cause I know that that's important. You know, or else why we put on all this makeup? Not really. I like rarely take pictures. I'm really bad at that. I keep like setting that as a goal to be better on like my Instagram, but I'm just not. We got zero flashback between both sides. Definitely not. I'm not going to post this picture. <laughs> but anyways, I feel like it held up super well. I really, really like the way it looks. Uh, I would... Here's the thing, okay, I love Pat McGrath. There are things I don't love from Pat McGrath. Um, I am very honest, no matter who it is, even though I love the brand, you guys know I really was not into, my God, my butt itches. Um, I was so not into the new lip glosses that came out. They just look super metallic on me. So, and I made sure to say that. This, I feel like, you know, I just love that I have the foundation. It's just like a whole collector's type thing. I will use the concealer, because. At, you know, it was expensive. So I would say, is it revolutionary? No. Is it a very nice concealer? Yes. Um, if you're looking for more like a luxury concealer and you want more product, mm, I would maybe go with the Dior. The Dior is more of like a hydrating formula. This is right below that. But like I said, I don't feel any tightness or anything like that. So I wouldn't say like, oh, if you have dry skin, don't get this. I'm just, you know, giving you some comparisons. The powder, I like it. Like I said, the Charlotte Tilbury powder is more expensive, but in terms of like, this just feels like I paid for a luxury item. This, it's it's very plasticky. I don't love the mirror, but the actual product is really, really nice. 
So I'm happy that I have both in my collection, but can I say that like, if you have this, you really need this? No. Um, but if you're looking for a nice blurring under eye powder that feels like nothing, this is very nice. I don't think you'd be disappointed. And I feel like you can get away with like pretty much all the shades depending on your skin tone. Like I could have gone with the, with the lighter one, but I'm happy I went with this one still. Um, but I could, I could have gone either way. I think it, it's because there's only three and they're so sheer, you, you probably aren't going to be worried about that too much. The concealers, however, I will say, um, definitely really, I would swatch in Sephora if you could, just because any of the undertones, they pull very, very strongly. Like I got shade eight. I am shade 16 right now in the foundation. So I didn't just go up two shade sizes. Like it said, two shade sizes, <laughs> like two shades lighter. I went up like by half, but it all depends on how brightening. I don't feel like my under eyes look like, what is she thinking with that concealer right now? I, I feel like this is great. So the undertones pull very strongly. I hope you guys can kind of see that in the swatches and I hope it helps you. Um, I would have loved to swatch the deeper ones, but like I said, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a customer like you guys, okay? So it's not like I could be like, excuse me, please bring all these shades out from the back. Um, that's just what they brought out to me. But yeah, overall, I'm I'm very happy with this. I am not I'm not regretful that I bought either one. Like I said, my only worry is this is so lightweight and I'm just like, don't drop it. I don't even know if I would put this in my purse for a touch-up powder. I would for this one. But for this one, I just feel like because it's that rounded dome and it's so, so fine, I think it might break on you. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I like, I toss my purse wherever. And so I'm just like, I, I, I would be crushed if I put this in my purse. So it's kind of up to you. It's not like I do that on an often... I don't do that often. I'm just like, eh. but if you are one of those people, then I would just say, be careful, exercise caution. But overall, it worked out great. I'm very happy about it. Please pat bronzers next. I am a bronzer fiend. I'm a lot, but like I just saw that she's coming out with a new eye product. And I'm like, no, please keep it up with the face. I'm like, I need, I need more. I need bronzers. I need blushes. Okay, I need, I need a whole collection of Pat McGrath. That's how I feel. Um, but anyways, let me know your thoughts. Did you feel like one side outdid the other in terms of the powder? Do you feel like it looked pretty equal like I did? But I'm not seeing any breakage. There's no flashback. So I would say like if you have the money, it's great. If it's, you know, it's not going to change your life. But they're really good products. Like I'm, I'm very, very happy about this whole, whole thing. And now I'm just like, I gotta get in the shower. Ah, the feeling of taking off my makeup. Okay, that is it for me. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, so for the concealer, concealer. All right, so for the concealer, you're getting five.